They say it's done for text messages what Skype did for international phone calls. The offer of messaging without phone charges tempted customers by the million, and now it's tempted Facebook as well. Up to £11.5 billion pounds for a Silicon Valley neighbour that didn't exist five years ago. Here's how Facebook's founder Mark Zuckerberg, in a conference call to investors, described WhatsApp's rise. With 50 people uh, at their company, they've built a product and a network that has almost half a billion people actively using it um, in five years. No one in the history of the world has done anything like that before. It's no wonder he bought it. WhatsApp has more than 450 million monthly users. 70% of those use it daily. More than a million new users a day are signing up. And some 50 billion WhatsApp messages are sent every single day, almost the same as the number of traditional SMS messages sent worldwide daily. Facebook and Google both kind of missed the messaging revolution of last year, and they're both very keen to make sure that doesn't happen in the future. So buying WhatsApp may be an expensive purchase, but it's one that keeps Facebook really in the game. There is some astonishment at just how much Facebook has paid, but when you're talking about something that has quite literally changed the way people communicate, it brings an enormous value. It does also raise that old question though, for all that investment, how do they make it pay? They have talked a little bit about putting monetization on one side for the moment and waiting until they reach a billion users. And then they feel that that's the time to really think about really making money, which is actually the same approach that Mark Zuckerberg took with Facebook itself. Currently, WhatsApp is free to start with. Users then pay a small charge. The ones we spoke to didn't exactly give Facebook the warmest of welcomes. They have their own app. I don't understand why they needed that one unless they just wanted to obviously monopolize the market. Facebook bought Instagram for buying this. It makes sense that they would buy all these other companies that are making money. It was with that purchase of Instagram in 2012 for £600 million that Facebook showed its intent. WhatsApp is a bigger deal. Greg Milam, Sky News, Los Angeles.